Welcome back to another episode of My Legacy Garage. Are there parents out there that have kids? I'm sure there are. If you're watching this and you have a kid, do they break everything they own to? I swear, I spend more time fixing their crap than anything else. Example number 6,967 for this year. A brand new bicycle. It's brand new at Christmas time. It's broke. Busted the little shifter thing right off the back of it. I need to fix it. Apparently they want to ride their bike. You know, they don't bug me, so that's a plus. Let's see what we can do with it. So this thing he goes here. This thing goes up here or something. And it's all broke off back there. Something like that. I don't know. They got the chain caught. They were trying to shift gears while they were popping wheelies doing 87 mile an hour on the freeway. I don't even know how they did this. So I ordered a new one of these hickama jiggers, which apparently is called a derailleur. I don't know. Anyway, Amazon comes through again. We got a brandy new one here. And now what we've got to do is figure out how to take this apart and put it on there. So. Let's see how that goes. It'll be fine. It's it's not. It's it's gonna be bad. So you might think, man, you gotta take the chain apart or cut the chain apart and put a repair link in it and all this other stuff. Not necessary, because whoever designed this actually did a good job as an engineer. I know, shocking, right? But they made it so that it all comes apart. And now the chain is free. How about that, huh? Now the cable, that might be a different story. Let's see how that goes. You take this loose and that'll come out of there pretty easy. But then, look at that. It doesn't fit up through there. It has this little piece on the end of it that's crimped on there. So I think you got to cut that off. And then after you feed it down through the new one, you got to crimp something on there to keep the cable from unwinding. So that's what we're going to do. Next up, we're going to go ahead and bust this wheel loose. Mostly so that we can take it out and put this little retainer thing in there. Because, like, my fingers are too fat to fit in there. That's how you lose a finger. Hot dog! Help me understand why this thing wants to be difficult. Does it want to be difficult? Does it need to be difficult? It doesn't really have to be like this, does it? Ah, kids! Now the brakes are holding it. You know what? This is how we're doing it. Like that. This goes on here like that. This goes through here. Like so. Beautiful. And put the wheel back. See that? Not so hard. When you put this whole hub assembly here back together, it is important that you tighten everything up evenly. So an easy way to do it is look up here and make sure the tire is equal on either side because if this isn't sitting in here square, it'll be a little cockeyed and it won't be the same distance on either side up there and then you'll be able to take this, loosen it up and adjust it as necessary. Now that you got this thing all mounted on here good and secure, you can go ahead and take these apart so that you can feed the chain through them. Good idea, just for best practices. Take all the old stuff you took apart, push it off way off to the side, so that whenever you do this part, you're not mixing old and new pieces. Now this may look like it's all one piece, but there's a little bushing inside of there. Make sure you when you take it apart, you don't lose that. It's also a good idea when you're taking stuff apart, lay it out kind of in the orientation that it came apart. So this right here just went right down there like that. 
so that when you go to put it back together, you're not wondering if you're doing it backwards or not. So you notice I took a picture of this, held up the carnage and figured out where it went so that I could refer back here and hold it up and figure out that the chain went around the top of this one and the back of this sprocket up here. So when I put it back together, it's not backwards. The only thing I hate worse than fixing stuff my kids break is fixing it twice. So probably the hardest part of this whole thing is holding this in place and trying not to get fingers pinched and tightening this all down at one time. It's not the worst thing ever, but it's a little bit sketchy too. Alright, well, that doesn't look right. Let's figure out what's going on with that. It didn't look right because this was all jammed up here and what I discovered was the chain had fallen off here and was wrapped down around the axle so I just put it back on the sprocket and voila it's right as rain. We're going to hook the old uh, cable up. It's really as simple as pull it all the way in until it seats in there. Put it under your hold down here and tighten her down. Now some of y'all might say, hey what about that piece you cut off the cable? This little guy right here. And I say, well, you know what? I don't have those because I'm not a bicycle repair shop. But you know what I do have? Wire connectors. That'll work just as good. It's fine. And that, my friends, is how you get from this shattered nonsense to a fixed bike and the kids not in your hair in 15 minutes or less. I hope this inspires one or two of you out there anyway to get out there, get the broken bike out of the garage that your kid's been bugging you to fix for two years and just fix it. It doesn't take a rocket scientist, just a little common sense and some patience. You'll be right as rain. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to visit My Legacy Garage in the future. Also, think about subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. I am way too old and way too fat for this little bitty bike.